Now this year in this video, we are going to create truly curved curtain walls. For example, you can see this is the basic curtain wall and curved curtain wall you will get. But when you zoom in, you will see that the panels are straight. And when you zoom out, the illusion of those panels will create a curved curtain wall for you. But sometimes, maybe in some project, you want a cleaner option, something like this. And when you zoom in, you will see curved panels and also curved Moulins, but how we can create that? You just need to select uh, and create a, a really sample curtain wall that you had. For example, let's copy it in here. This is the simple curtain wall you will get. You can change the, you can change all of the settings for it. And then, after you've done that, you need to select the curtain wall. Let's go to the curtain wall and let's go to the edit type and let's create a new type for us. For example, tot test one. And in here, for the curtain panels, you need to change them to a vault. For example, let's change them to a generic vault for now. For example, let's put down basic vault, the first one. Let's click on OK. And now you can see, at the moment, you can see when you bring uh, those uh, panels on walls, the walls are going to be curved. So with that option, we are going to create a thin wall with a glass material to uh, trick the Revit to have a curve panel. For example, let's go to the walls in here and let's go to the edit type. And let's create a wall and let's call it tot one and let's go to the edit type and in here put the thickness on maybe 10 millimeter and put the material on glass. Click on OK and OK and now we are good to go. Select the curtain wall again. Let's go to the edit type and in here put it on the wall that you've created. I've created the tall basic wall tot glass one and let's select it and click on okay and now in the moment you will have your results but the another thing that you need to care about is the mullions that's the little bit harder part you can see our panels are curved but our mullions are not so we need to do something else to create mullion uh curved mullions too but before going to the next part make sure to like this video to help us create more videos like this the best option is to select the curtain wall and uh, delete all of the mullions that you have for horizontal part. Put all of them on now. Click on OK and delete the mullions. And now we don't have any mullions. The next part is you need to go to the architecture tab. In here, click on curtain grid and click a pair of grid for each of these grids that you have. The distance is not important right now. Just select and create a pair of curtain grid for each of them. Let's put all of those additional grid at the top of them because we can adjust them better. And that's it. And now let's go to the front side and select the top one. And in here, you can change the dimension in here and let's put it on 50 millimeter. And for we need to do the same thing for next one. Press tab to select the curtain grid. If you couldn't select that, make sure to activate the select pin element. Uh, let's select it and let's unpin it first. And uh, let's put it on 50 millimeter. I will do the same thing for all of these. And now I've done the same thing for all of them. Now it's time to change these panels with the wall to simulate the horizontal mullion and horizontal curve mullion. To do that, select one of these small panels in here. Press tab until you've selected the panel and then right click and in here we have a select panel and make sure to select all of the horizontal panels in here but before that it is better to select one panel from each row something like this I will select all of these small panels in one column after you select all of the panels right click and in here we'll go to the select panel you can see I can uh, select panels in here I need to right click on the panel in here and then we all, you will have the option of select panel then click on along horizontal grid and now you will have all of the panels that you need you need to unpin them you can use shortcut up to unpin them and then you can change them to something like maybe generic 200 now you will see that in here and you can go to the walls in here press wa for walls and let's find the generic 200 in here let's rename it to mullion 
and in here put the thickness that you want for example maybe 50 and also for the material let's change it to aluminium click on okay and okay and okay and now we have the right and true curve curtain wall. make sure to watch this video in here to know all of the tricks and tips about curtain walls in Revit